So you want a little 12 volt box fan to keep you cool off the grid. Well, and you don't got money like me. So the instructions I'm gonna give you can't really be perfect. But basically, you look around at what you have access to and you try to come up with something. I grabbed the radiator fan out of there because that was 12 volts. I did, you know, wood's hard to find, but I got these old skids back here from the old swimming pool project. And uh, I cut them to pieces and uh, nothing pretty about this. In fact, I painted it, I painted it uh, very crappily. Uh, um, flat green. I'm getting hit in the back of the head with a flag, so it's distracting me. I grabbed the random switch off. Well, I grabbed a I grabbed the biggest switch I could so it'd make the hole cutting easier for the switch off my desk downstairs. So this is uh um so the air actually comes out of this side. I ha I tried putting a uh uh an opposing twin fan shroud grill over there, but it blocked too much flow and I don't have a problem with it over here. And this is the only side I really need to protect cuz this is the part that sucks shit in and this is where it blows out. So you would actually have this part facing you here and uh so this is just a, um, a leather strap i had laying around uh, you could probably use an old belt or something like that if you don't got any leather straps laying around just hold on with drywall screws this whole thing is held together with drywall screws so i've cut my uh very horrible 45s in here and tacked them in place with a couple drywall screws filled it with great stuff let it harden cut it off with a knife this is just some random speaker wire i found dumpster diving with some alligator clips they sell them at walmart I did some quick connects up in here. Oh, and uh, for the wire wraps, if you look down in here, uh, this is a, uh, these are screws they sell at Walmart that I originally got for mounting speakers in boxes, and you know, I had them laying around after the project. And uh, I, I wanted a washer and I wanted it to be snug, so I drilled a hole through a couple pennies, slightly smaller than the screw, then threaded them in all the way with my vice grips. Then I put some shrink wrap tubing over it and hit it with a torch, leaving this much room for the screw to go penetrating into the wood. And then I have my neat little cord wrapping thing. And this hole here, again, the tolerances are so tight, I never even siliconed it. I probably could, but I didn't. And I took a sander and sanded all the edges so I didn't get splinters and hit off a of crap. And I, uh, I put silicone on the bottom gap here because uh, there's screws sticking out even harsher than that. And, uh... Wait, I didn't even turn this thing on yet, did I? I don't feel like unraveling the cord, so we'll just, uh... That didn't work. And that's also not good. Okay. No, we're not. Come on. Don't. This works a lot better if I did it the way I was supposed to do it, but I don't want to do it that way. Alright. So, it's not the strongest wind in the world, but you know what? It's not obnoxious either. Uh, and, okay, yeah. Uh, oh, that was terrible. Uh... How about this wrapper? Uh, I'm having a hard time showing the flow. There you go. And I can stick that fan up in that window on a hot day and keep some air flowing in here. <laughs> 